I've just candled this egg to discover that there's actually two little baby chicks growing in it. We're on day seven of incubation and I'm just going to shine the light to see if we can maybe pick it up on the camera. Refocus in. There we go. That's one chick on the small pointy egg end of the egg. And what's really interesting is actually there's a little bit, it's really difficult to see, but there's a little bit of an air cell appearing there on that end. Now I'm just going to turn round and go to the fatter end of the egg, make some space and we can see, hopefully, where are you? There we go, there. Just turn the egg round a little bit. No, too much light. There we go. The where are you? Second baby chick is positioned at the fatter end. Hopefully we can get a little bit of movement. There we go. I don't know if you're picking that up on the camera, but I'm just going to turn it right round. So there's quite a big air cell on the far end. Aha, there we go. There we are. I'll just leave him. Oh, got lots of movement there. <laughs> so both are alive and well on seven days of incubation. And I'm going to update this post to see the development. But I'm actually thinking that it's quite a positive sign in the case of twin chicks that there is, as I say, a slight oh, refocus. And there was such a slight. Chuck is just ever so slightly further round. Baby chick number two. There he is. Or she is. You can see the eye is quite prominent at day seven. What you can't see is that the ear cell is very prominent at the end, but it's just a tiny little bit. So, fingers crossed. I'll keep you posted.